In the two by two matrix below, B1 and B2 are the cost per pound of bok choy. That's these two numbers here. At market one and market two respectively. So specifically, B1 is market one and B2 is market two. R1 and R2 are the cost per pound of rice flour at the same market. So R1 and R2, same relationship applies here. One of them is market one, market one is market two. In the following matrix product, what does Q represent? And that's Q right here. So to do this problem, we're going to need to be able to do matrix multiplication, which might sound kind of challenging, but turns out is pretty simple. And the way to remember how to do matrix multiplication is to remember to start with row and multiply rows times columns, rows times columns. And specifically what I mean is take a matrix on the left, take the rows from that and multiply it by the columns of the matrix on the right. So let's see how that works in this equation. So in this example, let's start with a P. Actually, that'll be the easier one to start with. We're gonna start with a row. There's only one row in this matrix, so it's just 0 0.5. And I'll write out the other part right now, but you'll see where it comes from, 0 0.5. And then we're multiplying it by this column, the first column in red here. So the first item here get in the row gets multiplied by the first item in the column. So we have 0 0.5 times B1. And then we add this to the second item multiply, second item in the row multiplied by the second item in the column. Don't get lost here. This matrix multiplication is just a way of organizing, multiplying, and addition. And all of this goes into, since this was the first row times the first column, it goes into the first row, that's the first row, and the first column of the new matrix to give us P. So this is what P is equal to. Now, to get the, uh, again, this is the first row, but now we're going to look for the item that is in the second column. We're going to multiply the row, this row, times the second column. And here, you can probably do it yourself based on the first example. We can figure out what Q is equal to. Q is going to be equal to this first row, so 0 0.5, and we'll just write this over here again, 0 0.5, times R1 and R2. So now we know actually specifically what Q is equal to. And now we just need to actually interpret this equation. So what, is, what does this actually mean? This means we got 0 0.5 pounds of rice flour, right? R stood for rice flour. And specifically, we got 0 0.5 pounds of rice flour from the first market. So rice flour from market one. And we also got uh, 0 0.5 pounds of rice flour from market two. So I'll just say from M1 and M2. For some reason, we didn't want to buy all our rice flour at just one market. We kind of mixed it up. And so if we read through the possible answers here, we'll see that K says Q is equal to the total cost of a half pound of rice flour at market one and a half pound of rice flour at market two. That's exactly what this equation stands for.